On this episode of Live View Mastery, we're going to be performing the surprisingly painful upgrade from Phoenix 1.6 to 1.7. So if we look at the screen now, Phoenix 1.7 is a major upgrade to the Phoenix framework because we are doing away with views in favor of Phoenix components. So if you look at the change log for Phoenix 1.7, it has a link to an upgrade guide, which was created by Chris McCord. But if you go to the comments section, there is a lot of back and forth about things that are missing from the guide. It's effectively not comprehensive. And so I just completed the upgrade on an application. And so this video is going to help you and myself in the future be able to perform this, this upgrade without issues. So this is the video Phoenix 1.6 to 1.7 upgrade guide. So we're just gonna go from the top of the upgrade guide and we're gonna confirm that with what I did in my repository. So the very first thing you do is upgrade your Phoenix, Phoenix Live View and Phoenix Live dashboard issues or versions. And I did the following, upgrading Phoenix Live dashboard, upgrading Phoenix. But in addition to that, I needed to install Phoenix View because if you don't install Phoenix View, which has been extracted in it, into its own library, you have to do this final step, which is migrating all of your Phoenix views to Phoenix components. And this is somewhat of an arduous thing to do if you have a lot of views. So I would suggest getting the upgrade done with while relying on the Phoenix View package and worrying about migrating all your views to components thereafter. So install Phoenix View, we're gonna consider that done. And then inside of your mix.exs, remove these compilers. Uh, I didn't need to do this. Most people aren't going to need to do this because this has already been done. Uh, I did have to upgrade my formatter module, which is an excellent addition where essentially you get really nice uh, formatting when you run mix format inside of your HEEX files. You're gonna have to upgrade your .formatter.exs file to look like the following, where you add plugins, Phoenix Live, you .html formatter, and make sure your inputs look like this, where you're including HEEX, um, and jumping into all of the folders that have anything that has a .eex extension. So we're gonna consider that viewed. And then we need to replace the live title tag with the live title HTML component. So we're gonna go into my root.html. I did the following where I, well, I actually had already done this in another pull request but when I was upgrading Phoenix Live View, but you need to do this. If you have a live title tag, that's no longer a thing. You're gonna to need to replace it with this live title HTML component. And then the rest of these things apparently are optional. I did do the rest of these. So inside of your app web, app will be of course the name of your application. You need to add the following, uh, static paths function, add an unquote verified routes underneath your controller and you need to add it underneath your view helpers function. And that's where this is. This is my view helpers function. It's not clear because of the GitHub, the way GitHub is rendering my changes. But in addition to that, you're gonna add a verified routes function. And I also needed to get rid of uh, importing phoenix.view from something. Actually, let's view this file. And let's actually observe the extra changes, line 46 adding verified routes to the view function. And then I removed Phoenix view from line 97. What was that? That was removing it from, it looks like removing it from the channel, which I don't think it's necessary to live in there anymore. So we're gonna consider that viewed. Finally, since we just created this function for static paths, that means it's not gonna be hard coded directly into your endpoint. So you're gonna make a reference to that function inside of your live view or your app web file referring to the static paths function. In addition to what is not in this guide but did get mentioned in the comments section, uh, somebody was mentioning about uh, M. Fecky was talking about the flash where git flash is no longer a thing. You are now going to refer that to phoenix.flash.git and we're most of the way there. I also had to, in my error view, my error view when I was hitting the template not found function, I had to rename this from template not found to render. That was also mentioned in somebody's comment. So thank you to 
Oh, thank you to DJ Goku for that addition to the upgrade guide. And we have two more files to go through. Uh, the con case. Uh, that's actually in the guide. Thank you, Chris McCord. Use app web verified routes. So we're going to do that. Remember, we added this function to our app underscore web. And I removed one of my views that I didn't need anymore. So you may be doing that also. A lot of the views that were just connecting your controllers to your templates via the view, you may not need that anymore. Uh, this is my mix.lock file. And I believe that is everything I needed to do to finish the upgrade. All my tests pass. And this is the version of the upgrade. Importantly, this is worth re-mentioning. This is the version of the upgrade where you're actually installing Phoenix View as uh, almost like a deprecated dependency. And this is how you can get the upgrade done very quickly. But if you were eventually you're going to need to Stop relying on the Phoenix View module because it's no longer in the framework anymore. You're going to need to open up this page inside of the Phoenix View docs and migrate eventually over time, migrating all your views to the Phoenix component module. And the way you do that is essentially following this guide, migrating your views to Phoenix.component. I'm not going to cover that within the scope of this upgrade guide because that is going to be painful. And this is supposed to get you up and running with all of the caveats that are not currently included in the text version of the upgrade guide. Hit me up in the comments if you run into any issues performing this upgrade.